a help check that a package from a remote data source such as GoKB has been fully synchronized with the local knowledge base in agreements. We've added a field to the package metadata that shows the number of titles that were in the original source package. This can be compared with the number of titles that are in the local knowledge base to check that all titles have been loaded. This data doesn't yet appear in the user interface, although that is planned for a future release, but can be seen in the package metadata as the source title count if you examine the underlying JSON from the API. We've introduced the ability to search for licenses or amendments based on supplementary documents and core documents. As you can see, you can search for licenses which have attached supplementary documents with particular attributes. Here, searching for an, some characters in the name of the document, as well as searching other fields such as the URL field or the physical location or a file name if it's an uploaded file. You can also do searches based on the core documents as being shown here, uh, in this case in combination with a supplementary document filter, but it can be searched obviously by itself. And all of the searches being shown here apply to both core and supplementary documents on both licenses and amendments. It is now possible to search for licenses and amendments based on the presence or absence of specific information relating to the license or amendment. Here we're looking for licenses which have not yet had a core document added. In this case we get no results meaning that all of the licenses in our system have a core document. If we do the same search in amendments we can see that in this case we find one amendment that hasn't had a core document uploaded and that's missing in the view. But if we look for the ones with core documents we find the remaining 49 records all have core documents. We've made a couple of usability improvements in the licenses application. Firstly, we've swapped to using next and previous buttons in the search results pagination, and that applies to both the licenses and amendments searches. And secondly, in the settings, we've replaced the two screens that were previously used to manage pick lists with one option which uses an extra pane to display the uh, pick list values. This includes the ability to search for pick lists by name and all of the existing functionality uh, that was there previously to edit uh, or add or delete pick list values from a pick list. We have made a number of usability improvements in the agreements application, including moving to using the next and previous pagination buttons within specific tables or MCLs of information within the agreements displays. We have introduced the ability to customize which columns display in three places in the application that is in the agreement lines list within the agreements view as you can see you can deselect or select 
particular columns to display or not display and that selection will persist throughout your session for every time you view a list of agreement lines within an agreement. We have also added this functionality to the agreement search results. and the agreement lines search results. In the dashboard, as part of the agreements widget, we have added the ability to search for agreements based on their content type. So it is now possible to filter the list of agreements appearing in a widget based on the content type applied to the agreement. In this case, I'm creating a widget which finds all the agreements where the content type includes the word book. And we can see that six agreements are found and if we have a look at one of those agreements, we can see that it has the content type books there, which is why it fulfills that criteria. Within the settings in agreements, we have combined the pick list management into a single set of screens rather than the two screens that used to be used. Here you can search for pick list by name and you can edit the pick list content adding new values changing existing values deleting values as before we've made similar changes to the way you can view external data source information to make it easier to manage a list of external data sources and we've made the same change within the proxy server setting management so that it is easier to manage a list of proxy server settings if you happen to have more than one proxy server setting within your system.